funny. Well, we haven't done this in a while. Well, Gravity has now uploaded some new, a new trailer to the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Deluxe mod that he has made. Let's look at this trailer real quickly. So first off with this trailer, I do have to say that um this trailer is really cool because this actually uses the um same exact music as the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game trailer. So that is just very interesting and very cool to see here. But we're gonna now relook at that. We'll go look at it more in depth. Uh, let me see here. I need to go back to the playback speed. Let's put the 0.25, and now let's go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so first off, we see here, this is just a regular intro to the Jellyfish Fields level. Nothing really new here. The entrance and the entrance cutscene to Goo Lagoon. Right there. Um, the introduction level cutscene to Kelp Forest right there. Um, the introduction to the, when you exit Spongebob's house, so far nothing, anything that is new, so far stuff from the normal game already. Looks like right there, but I just saw something right there, look at that, it looks like there's been an increased spatula was to get into certain levels. Downtown Bikini Bottom is usually five golden spatulas, but now, since they've added a, a lot of brand new golden spatulas to the game, and it now takes eight golden spatulas to get into downtown bikini bottom also you can see there's a key just floating in the air right there i wonder how we'll get that maybe through cruise boosting i don't know sponge gliding and we have sandy's dream right here with a timer see right there there's a timer right there so it looks like there is now a new sliding time challenge for sandy's dream so i'll be interesting and most likely given to us by larry so we'll kind of make it a bit longer to beat the level, as you're going to have to, um... Because there's that other mission over there with Plankton. And so it looks like what you'll probably have to do is you'll have to come back here through here casually without the timer. We're going to go grab that spatula, then TP back to Larry to get his, um, to get his mission and to start the timer. And that is very interesting to see right there. There's a timer. I just noticed that in right now. See more sign down Sandy's dream, but you got a timer now. You got to beat Larry's best time. Probably. It's probably Larry. And it already tells us right here that this game is going to include a total of 200 golden spatulas, which we already knew already. And 
Then the camera starts spinning. Okay, now, this is a uh, thing we've already seen before from a preview where Spongebob has to go around all these tilting things to get to the golden spatula. And okay, now we're back right here at the Iceberg Seas. Um, when we originally saw the preview as this, you can either play as Spongebob or Patrick. I guess they're now playing as Patrick now here instead of Spongebob. And it also looks like here they added snow to this thing instead of it just being no snow. They added snow to this, so that's really cool. Now we got the sliding, the slide, then the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, which we already saw back for a preview back in November of 2022. Or, no, two, November 2021, my bad. And then we see SpongeBob climbing all the way up to the top of the Sea Needle, which we've already seen. We have more of these things with this thing that was in the original um, preview trailer. We've got a um, thing where I had to sneak across there. We, we've already seen that one before. We have these towel things where Patrick has to jump across these towels. You get to the golden spatula right up here. And apparently right here, this is a new mission. It looks like a new area where I guess you have to free the campers by defeating enemies. This is like some new area here in Kelp Force with a lot of bridges and docks. So that'll be very interesting. And camp right there. Now over here you got the keys, the treasure chest keys. Right there, the treasure chest, I, th I think a treasure chest is the same one either out of the graveyard or out of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman or out of the movie game, I can't remember. Um, this area right here in the Mermelair, which we already saw. Now it looks like we have a destroy all the tiki's challenge right here in the police station, we have to destroy all the tiki's in a certain amount of time. We have a new challenge right here in Rock Bottom, where I have to swing across these swinging hooks as Sandy. To get to somewhere, I don't know where it takes you. It looks like it takes you back to the bus stop. Next time we got this rolling puffer fish, giant rolling puffer fish that we've already seen before. This is actually the last preview we analyzed back in August of 2022. Now it looks like right here, it looks like he gets a... And so it's telling us about some of these new faces we get to meet. So first off, there's this thing with Robo Racer that says, Beep Boop, I am no ordinary robot. I am the greatest boat racer in Bikini Bottom. Beep Boop. And fun fact, this robot looks like a, the robot out of the PC version of Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, so that is interesting how they're incorporating the robots from the PC version of this game into the actual game. Then we've got right here, we have um, this jellyfish hunter, which we've already seen. We have to go hunt for the golden jellyfish. We got Squilliam right here in the rock bottom museum that we've already seen. And, and then we've got um, Karen, who's going to be in this game. That's really nice how they're adding Karen to battle for Bikini Bottom. That's definitely a missing character we did not get to see. In the OG game, so we're happy we can see her now. Maybe they'll add, maybe Pearl will be in this game, but I don't know. But apparently it says right here, this dialogue, it says, Those robots have deactivated my primary console and confined me to this cramped screen in the closet. It's my worst. It's nice to see Karen right there. Now we've got a new object, Invisible Spray. That looks like rock bottom right there. Apparently it turns you invisible when you touch it. Oh, I think also if you watch that normal speed, it looks like it goes slower. We have an, a new a paddle wheel, but this time only for the spin attack, not just for the bubble bowl. It looks like right here, this is a new area to the industrial park level. So that'll be interesting here. This see here, this new area to, industrial to the industrial park area. I don't know if this is going to be before or after the boss battle. Harmony thinks this will be before. Almost like I see green goo back there. I don't know if that's the boss fight or if that's just um, some part of the area. And also, 20 new socks you can find. Right here, so this kind of gives us an answer to the Robo Racer. To where apparently it will be kind of like the movie game in a way where you're going to have to race around the first area of downtown Bikini Bottom for three laps. To determine the winner, see if you win. It looks like you're going like to have to race the robot in the boat while you're around with the sponge ball. 
Also looks like here the sponge ball is going increasingly faster, so I think, think there may be like a Sunday power up or something here, or the sponge ball is just faster for this. And it currently looks like right now the boat is in the lead. You may think he won, right? Nope, there is three laps. All the patrons in the stands, which kind of look like the ones from the Spongebob movie game. Looks like, um, you know, uh, Spongebob is about to take the lead there for a second. And I got a new area to the same mountain level where I have to... These, these ski things, I, like, if you've been to a ski thing, you'll probably know what these are. I can't remember what these things are, but... Like, yeah, they take these things to get up to the top of, like, the ski slopes, and they can ski down it, I guess. Those are what those things are called. Hold, and you're just gonna have to navigate across these platforms right here, using Sandy as a glide. Next up, we've got a new another area right here. I don't know if this is either for the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Robot SpongeBob, and the Chumbucky Lab, or Industrial Park. As it looks like this could be either one of these three levels. Part of me thinks it's Robo SpongeBob because of this wall background looking like Robo SpongeBob, but so we'll have to see. And it looks like it just went dark there for a second, like it blinks back and forth to where you can't see. We got these mission in Sandy Street Dome where I have to get all the acorns, something we already saw before. We saw this in spring break of March last year. We already saw this. We saw this. We have um, tons of brand new areas. There's the sliding the plank area with this new huge wooden slide in the graveyard. That um, thing with the giant puffer fish and jellyfish fields. Industrial Park, it looks like that new area of Industrial Park right there. And the Iceberg Seas. And the area right here in the crat in the paddy vault. Right, it looks like he got he got out of bounds here. We have to protect the safe. Then we analyze this in January of last year. This new area to say mountain right here. There's a bunch of boulders and you're climbing this time instead of sliding. It looks like right here in a really foggy area of Sam Mountain right here, where it looks like you're going to have to collect these crystals. I don't know if Marco Boy has now lost even more crystals, now this time in Sand Mountain and in the Kelp Caves. So I'm to see what these are for. It looks like more area of like the Industrial Park right there with another sock. Parkouring across here, looks like there's a golden spatula right over there. Looks like right here they've also reincorporated Patrick Scrapped Dream is now back. So that is really cool how Patrick Dream is is back. The cut one. You can see right here they added this new thing right here. Patrick Dream of like almost like a chocolate lake that you will probably take damage in. And you have to somehow get out there with the throw fruit, which I don't know what that throw fruit is going to be useful for. Maybe it's to defeat that Chuck right there. We do not know. We got right here the Sunday Sprint in Jellyfish Fields. It's dark time. We have this air right here, Mr. Krabs' dream where I apparently have this gigantic trampoline. That may be useful to beat the the dream a bit easier, but you, it probably won't be activated until you, after you defeat Mr. Krabs' dream. That way the game isn't too easy. I don't know where that will lead you to, though. We just have to see. This area right here in downtown, we're going to climb some of these areas in the rooftops area, it looks like. Or maybe this is in the downtown. It's either, yeah, I think this is in the downtown rooftops. You're climbing across this little area. There's also this window here where a fish will pop out. Kind of reminds us of uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, where you had to, uh... Where you were in the Goo Goon level in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, how, uh... You'll be cl climbing across this lighthouse, then randomly people's windows would open up, and this dude will come looking at you. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. We have almost like right here, almost like a floating block challenge. Kind of like how in Revenge, uh, kind of like how in the movie game, where you'll have all these things, where to jump around, and all the different items of the sorts that I was seeing jellyfish fields are floating around. Kind of also reminds me of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, of how uh, when you find all the tiles, and you have to do that thing to find out the puzzle to see where the Dutchman's tre that piece of the Dutchman's treasure is at. 
I'll just kind of remind me of that with all that stuff floating around in the background. We got like a tree right here, another tree right there, a barrel, the jellyfish field sign, and then part of one of the fountains, fountain right there. And then we have right here this weird abominable, almost like snowman, maybe the Yeti crab. I have no idea what this thing is right here looking out at us. Here at the eyeballs, I have to see what that is. And this disco challenge in the Mermel Lair, which we've seen before. Yeah, this area right here, I don't know what level this is in, but there's a crane right there and it picks up shiny objects that I guess we'll put into your inventory. So I guess it's a good way to grind for shiny objects. We have Mr. Krabs' office, which is going to be a new area you can explore in the Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab, not only can you explore the dining area, but yeah, I guess you can now go into the kitchen, the patty vault, and now Mr. Krabs' office is almost complete. I hope we can go into, if we can go into the Krusty Krab bathroom, then that'll make this level complete, where you can go inside and explore the entirety of the Krusty Krab. We have another golden spatula right here, uh, from the down, this looks like another floating block kind of like area, but now for the downtown bikini bottom level. You have the Robo Racer Challenge, this area at Tom Jellyfish Fields, this area in Industrial Park, on top of the Sea Needle. Um, this looks like after Destroy the Tiki Challenge in Sand Mountain on the, uh, Flounder Hill. This challenge right here for Bubble Buddy that's in the Kelp Forest, I don't know where this is at and what we're gonna have to do here. Patrick's Dream, and then it has that right there for Battle for Bikini Bottoms of Luxe. Oops, I don't want the subtitles. I wanted to the playback speed be normal. And it says, coming soon, no release date. And it tells us to join the Discord server for, um, for updates, and to be sure to subscribe to the channel. So, yeah, that is the end of this analysis. It's really cool to see what... Gravity is doing with this game and with this mod that he's made. This is really, really, really cool. Probably one of the best Battle for Bikini Bottom mods I've ever seen. The only thing that I really do hope we can get to see added is I hope we can see the moon as a level added. I hope we can battle Robo Squidward. Or, um, Robo Muscle Bob Buff Pants. And I also hope we can go into the Krusty Krab bathroom. We can go actually not inside of Sandy's tree. And we can explore more of Squidward's house instead of just the upper level where um, Squidward is at. But besides that, this actually is really cool. Well, I don't know, guys, if I'll be able to play it or speedrun it as I would love to. But I just don't know if we can since I don't have modding equipment. This game is so far only available for the GameCube. And I don't have a GameCube. The only consoles I own are PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and a PS4. So, I do not have a GameCube, so maybe in the future if I get smarter with technology and modding and how to download and that kind of stuff and get it to work and not lag, then I'll definitely play it for you guys and I'll do a walkthrough and some speedruns of it. But until then, all we can do is just watch it online. And so, yeah, that's going to be the end of today's Battle for Bikini Bottom Deluxe video. This is our first time analyzing this stuff since August of 2022. So... Please make sure everybody like and subscribe to both my channel and Gravity's channel, and we'll see you all in the next video. Have a godless day, everybody.